Hey, what's up guys? <clears throat> Just wanted to make a quick video um, on the Impala. Uh, had issues with it not wanting to start here recently. So wasn't sure what the, the problem was. Uh, started one day fine, drove it out of the garage, pulled it back in, drove fine, shut off fine. Um, went to back to try to start it up again and it just wouldn't start at all. It did nothing. Uh, let me show you. So it just, it would, it would turn on like, you know, the battery's not dead, but nothing. Mess with gears, thinking, you know, maybe it wasn't all the way in park. Um, so just parked it, covered it, and was like, all right, I'll deal with it when it gets warmer. It's been freezing here in Nebraska. Was, I mean, last week was like negative 18 or 20 with the wind chill of like negative 40. So yesterday, jumped on YouTube and uh, started looking up different ideas. I had narrowed it down mentally to either something with the, the gear, the transmission, and with that, I thought neutral safety switch. Well, I don't know a lot about neutral safety switches. I still don't, but it seemed like it made sense to think, okay, if the car thinks it's in drive or if it thinks it's in uh, reverse, it, it won't start. So after brainstorming and talking to a couple guys, I thought maybe, okay, neutral safety switch. So jumped on YouTube, looking up neutral safety switch um, diagnostics and came to a video that it showed how to bypass or jump the uh, neutral safety switch to 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 see if you know that could be the problem so here's a neutral safety switch you can see it here from what i understand the purple coming in is power okay and the two black wires there that are kind of angled are uh, going to be the reverse lights. So knowing that the purple is power, I pulled pulled the wire and I grabbed a, a wire to just plug in to bypass to see if, if it would start the car. So let's see if I can get this with one hand here. Here, let me get this in and I'll be right back. All right, so I got that the wire jumped from essentially just one side to the other. I'm sorry, here you go. On this, the power, this, like I said, this other one is just a reverse. It's just, it's what tells the uh, reverse lights when to turn on for the car. So it, it tells reverse when, when it's it's in reverse to turn the lights on for the rear of the car, so the reverse lights. So I have this power jumped, right? So let's try it again. And there you go, it's starting. Dead battery, or not dead, but it's just, it's low. But anyways, that, that's, that, that's the gist of the, um, the concept here. Bypass the neutral safety switch by just jumping one wire over to the other to, to complete the circuit for the power. And that's how you can, I guess, diagnose if your neutral safety switch is bad or not. So after looking up online, trying to figure out which parts I need, which parts I don't, this is what I come up with from Napa. It was 35 bucks. Hopefully it's going to be right. I'm going to, I'm gonna install it in the next day or two. But essentially it's the same thing. Here's your power, here's your reverse. And so there's a linkage here that no one really talked about on the videos. I guess that is what goes with the transmission. So it'll tell you when it's in park, when it's in park, and then reverse drive see it moves so that's how the car knows when to put the reverse lights on um 
part number in case anybody needs one. NS6172. Um, it looked like it was the same for essentially 50, 58, 59 to I think 66 or 67 even. I'm not sure of the years. It's just kind of, we're jumping around on the computer just trying to figure out different different years of what, what would work. So the bolts that bolts on here, I guess it allows you to, on the steering column, adjust to make sure that the reverse is in the right spot. I just took the neutral safety switch and just installed the power and I moved that that nub over to where I thought park would be and tried to start it and it started. Well, it didn't start, but it, it, it gave power. So, um, if you if you're ever installing one, make sure that that lever, the the piece of metal coming from the the column shift, is in the correct spot with the neutral safety switch. With the neutral safety switch, thinking it's in park. Um, easy install. I mean, two bolts. You know, it's just the the difficult part was trying to figure out why it wasn't allowing the car to start when it was installed, but. I believe I just didn't have that neutral safety switch in the correct spot. So got everything installed and it's, it's hooked up now. So hopefully that helps someone. I'll try to post pictures and I wouldn't mind getting this taken back off so I can get you a picture of what that, that piece of metal and the, the nub look like coming from the, uh, the column. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that helps somebody sometime. I noticed there wasn't very many videos on these, so. I don't know, maybe it's just not a common issue, but there's my two cents on this little ordeal, but got the car going again, so positive for me. Have a good one, guys. All right, so got it all hooked up. Power, reverse, and here's your nub. This is the important part. It's in park now, and this piece here this piece of metal coming from the sh steering column has to go into the slot it's 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 important that it goes into that slot if you don't put it into that slot then you're essentially doing nothing with installing this neutral safety switch so it's important that you get it lined up and then once you have it lined up make sure the car's gonna at least turn because right now it should not turn well actually it will because I have the neutral safety switch in the correct spot so see so it'll turn now if i were to slide that this notch over i would have the same issues i was having yesterday which is it, it doing nothing it would not turn so it's important to get this slot onto that nub there just like this we can try to get the video to work i can see it i want to get it lined up there and then then you want to bolt it up at least get a screw started and then you want to try to start it and make sure it starts before you tighten it up and then maybe go through the gears make sure it doesn't start and and drive or reverse just make sure it works as, as intended so let me get it started and i'll come back all right got it started with one one bolt here's the other one if i didn't say already for mine looks like they are five sixteenths five sixteenths bolts so i got it started it's not it's not tight i want to make sure the car will at least start first all right so it's showing power Let's see that's reverse should do nothing doing nothing okay let's see here all right neutral nothing drive nothing park i believe that's how the car was be before too it didn't start neutral i think it's supposed to or at least i believe it was supposed to but it's fine with me it didn't have to so 
that tells me at least the neutral safety switch is in the correct position so it's okay for me to go ahead and tighten it down and then that should be the completion of the install fairly easy so here's the old one again and i'll show you this is what was broken essentially the housing and the nub but you know this is what shifts and the guy's gonna fall out but this is what slides supposed to slide back and forth around around this banana shape here to tell the car when it's in park and when it's not so hopefully that helps someone again um it was troublesome at first because it seems like not a lot of people know a lot about these as far as the install and the process but you know i don't i don't claim to know a lot either because I, I don't but at least that little bit that i learned from these was they're fairly simple you just got to make sure that this uh neutral safety switch is in park when you when you tighten it up and then the rest should fall into place so if uh if it's still starting in, in drive then you you're probably out of alignment with that neutral safety switch so hopefully that helps someone again and if you guys have any questions just ask i don't can't say i can answer it but i can try to help um my biggest fear was that since these these prongs for power and reverse lights were in different positions that maybe it would change the, I don't know, the, 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 uh, the functionality, but it didn't matter. All that matters is this, this nub and making sure that it was on the slot there on the, uh, the steering column. So hopefully that helps someone again and you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.